Here we're demonstrating different surface machining methods using Smart Cam Free Form Machining. We'll demonstrate Z level, also known as water level roughing, straight roughing and finishing, pencil milling, and some other features. The example model is a mold for an alligator whistle. The file for this part is available for you to download, and if you want, you can pause this video and follow along as we proceed with the demonstration. In this exercise, we'll rough the entire mold with a half inch bull, then semi rough just the head portion with a 3 8 ball and finally finish the head with a 3 16 ball. Because this surface will be finished after the half inch bowl, we'll want to avoid it when doing the semi and finish passes. To make this easier later, we'll set up some name groups of surfaces now. We'll put this surface in the active group and then name the group Avoid. Since we'll need a boundary for a Z level later, we will extract the trim curves from this surface. The model is positioned at Z0 and its top is at 1.14. We'll put the boundary on an unused layer with a level at 0 and profile top at about 1.4. The surface is already in the active group, so we use Extract to get the trimming curves. The new geometry will probably not be contiguous, so we'll use order path to chain it into a closed profile. First, we will remove all from the active group. Then select the new layer. Use order path to chain the new group. This boundary will also be used for the stock layer in show cut when we verify our tool path later. Let's switch back to setting up the machining groups. Select none, then select all on surface layer 3. Now remove the avoid group. We can remove elements from the group by holding down the control key and clicking the element. With the avoid group removed, we'll now name this group cut. For the Z level rough, this operation will use step 1, the half inch bull. Watch the readout line when moving your mouse over the list. Level is 0, proof top is 1.14, and clear is 1.3. Z-level roughing requires a boundary to know where the stock ends. We'll pick one of the polylines that were extracted onto layer 10. Cut area point needs to be an area inside the boundary, at the lowest point that the tool can fit into, anywhere in this area. We'll use a .02 finish. To be sure the large flat area is cut, we turn on Final Pass and also set it to .02. We can set up the rest of the settings whichever way we choose. We'll choose these. Let's check our progress using Show Cut. The stock layer is 10. If we don't like what we see, we can undo, change settings, and try it again. Let's change the cutting from outside in to inside out. Now we will semi-rough the head. We'll use step 2, the 3 8 bull using straight machining. Here's where we will use the groups we named earlier. We want to cut the group called Cut and avoid the group called Avoid. Again, we'll use Show Cut to check the progress. Now we'll make a finish pass with a small ball mill. We'll use a very small step over, and for this example, we'll switch directions so there will be more contrast when we verify.
Finally, with the same 3 16 ball, we'll now use pencil mill to do some cleanup passes around the part. Lastly, we'll use show cut to verify the processes. So we've taken the model, roughed it two different ways, and made a couple finish passes on it. These are a few of the many different ways you can use SmartCam to machine this type of part.